One of the most common reasons customers buy active roles these days is for management of Azure AD and Office 365. While that might seem like a little odd, let me explain why it's so important. As customers move to the cloud, the necessity to manage the cloud becomes more critical. With the Azure AD portal, the Office 365 portal, their on-prem user account being managed by Active Directory users and computers, or ADUC, that's three different portals different information, different requirements, different security models. It's a nightmare from both a security perspective, a usability perspective, and the ability for someone to just make simple mistakes that can break the user. Nothing is worse than when somebody goes in from, say, the help desk, makes a change to something, that change is done, the user hangs up the phone and says, great, I'm all set, and an hour later, the synchronization undoes that change completely. It frustrates the user, it frustrates the help desk when they call back, everybody loses. This is where active roles can really shine. Active roles can be a single pane of glass and allow you to manage the on-prem user object, the Azure AD object, and the Office 365 object all together in one place, logically the way it should be. Nothing else out there can do that for you. How do we do that? What we're doing is we're managing the on-prem user and then separately, we're managing the user in, with the Graph API in Office 365 and Azure as well. So there's a few things that we can do. And let's start by showing you some of those. First of all, we can do things like basic license management. And I can do that using things like the uh, policy to, just, to do that really quick. Let me just show you that. So here, I'm assigning a license two particular users. And you can see that I can actually pick the license. And I can say I want to assign this particular type of license to anybody who gets this policy. And if you recall from our policy discussions, here's where I set how that policy is actually applied. So in other words, who would actually get that policy. Let's also take a look at day-to-day -day management of users. What I've done here is I've customized the one of the web interfaces to show everything together. So I've picked and chosen different pieces of data. Some data is from my on-prem user object, some data is from my Azure AD user object, and some data is from the Office 365 object. But what you'll see in a second when this all comes up is that I don't have to know or care which of those areas something's actually happening in. When I set up active roles, I went in here and I said, take for example, this piece of data, their department, and use it. take that from on-prem AD. Then I want you to take these settings right here, and I want you to pull them from, from the Office 365 object. And then I want you to take their licenses here, and I want you to pull that from Azure AD. But when I look at this, you can't tell the difference. The only reason you know that is because I'm telling you that that's what's actually happening here. So what you can see is that I have the ability to control everything, to really set this up the way I want. And what does that gain me? It gains me usability from the help desk. It gains me lack of errors. And it also gains me a security model that's much better than anything Microsoft can do. This is how we do it with active roles.